Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about Laravel accessors. So first I'll let you know what is accessors in Laravel. After that, for example, we will make model controller and view. Then we'll see two examples for accessors. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions. And this is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials. And that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first let's understand what is accessor. See accessors are the functions in Laravel that help us to customize and modify the data whenever we are retrieving or getting the data from database. For example, we have this students table and we want to display this data on the UI, but we want to change something in this data. For example, the letter should be capital whenever this data is uh, displayed on the UI and the phone number should be with the country code like uh, plus zero one and you can say that plus nine one plus nine zero plus nine two we want to add these country codes uh, in the front of phone number so how we can do that that we can do with the help of accessors right so how we can implement it let's see so first i'm creating model and controller so php artisan make model and model name will be student as you can see that our uh, uh, database table name is students so let's mention is student and it should be start with the capital letter after that let's create a controller also and then we can enter and you can see that uh, one controller and one model is created there so now let me create one function inside the controller you can put any name to this function i am putting the list and for a moment i am returning their list text also right after that we'll uh, add some more data and something else also then uh, let's use this in the web.php so let me put their use then uh, student controller route colon colon view and the method name route name after that student controller colon colon class and then it should be uh, the function name which we defined in the controller yeah and after that what we can simply do uh, we can call this function and let me just start the php artisan server also if i just mention their route name list you can see that this is perfectly working so the next thing is we have to import our uh, model inside our uh, uh, controller right so for that let me put their use app models then model name which is student and there we can simply put their student colon colon uh, all not class and it will retrieve the old data from our student table so let me see here you can see that these are the three data with the name anil peter and said same data is there right but now there is no change in this data first letter you can see that this is still small so what i need to do i have to open this model there and just need to create one function function name should be create with the name uh, with the get the name of the attribute that i want to change like there i want to change the name so attribute name is name only and same is the database also right so what we can mention their name and it should be start with the capital letter and then attribute right and i can return something uh, let's say i just just want to make apple now if i just run it you will see all name will be changed in the apple only let me refresh it and here you can see that the old names are changed in the apple so this is how we can modify the name but see uh, this is the actually syntax for the accessor so first you have to put the get then uh, uh, your column name like maybe email phone number or something and the name should be capital for this and at last we have to put the attribute and then this value will provide the actual name uh, that has the actual actual value of the uh, this attribute right so if i just put this you will find that everything is similar there is a no change at all right 
but let's say I want to make it capital. So simply you can use this uc first and then this is a PHP function that will make our first letter capital in the value and now you will see if I refresh the name is capital first letter is capital for all the names right you can verify with that this database names okay so let's say similarly you want to add some uh, country code right so with the phone number so let me make their phone and there what I can simply do plus nine one then dot and dollar value right I, if I just refresh it you can see that uh, plus nine one is added with the all of the phone number so this is how actually accessor work if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel the like this video share your feedback in comment section thanks guys and this is my paid number for donation.